Hey y'all. Um, okay, I've started this video several times and I'm just gonna roll with it and this is what we're gonna get. I'm gonna try and um, post this as soon as possible. Um, it's It's been rough. It's been really rough. Um, my intent for this channel really, um, I love creators who are body positive and age positive and what that means to me is that right now in this body in this condition um i'm beautiful i'm worth loving i'm sexy and i'm i can be confident and be in this world and that was kind of my intent for this um it's hard i mean obviously i don't think there's a cancer po positivity but my idea was uh kind of like i've approached running when i used to run in a wonder woman costume and um my whole belly dancing experience which was so good for my body positivity um I read an article. <laughs> Sorry for my pauses. Um, I'm fighting chemo brain, and I'm also hoping that the construction next door um, has ceased during my lunch hour. So, because it's been pretty loud. Um, but what I wanted to do was say, I'm going to approach this as cute as possible. Um, I'm such a costume girl. I think glitter runs in my blood. Uh, that's why I often say, you know, I'm I'm part unicorn. Um, and I knew this whole thing would be difficult, but I don't think I knew how much. And that's been the hard thing. Um, this past week, I was very physically sick. I had really high fevers. Um, I couldn't breathe through my nose. And sorry about the sniff. <laughs> and um, it turned out that I had a sinus infection. I have like this super duper uh, Superman kind of antibiotic that I'm taking that has really, really helped. But um, in the process of the whole thing, um, well, there's rain on the roof. In the process of the whole thing, I hit a super deep depression. And it was the kind that, I don't know if that you've seen Kill Bill, but the moment where the bride is looking at her toes and saying, move, move, that was literally what I was doing. And I didn't know how to ask for help to say, I need someone to tell me to get out of bed. I need someone to tell me to take a shower. I need someone, and, um, and that didn't feel fair and I didn't know how to word it. And so it became easier to just lie there, which meant I made bad decisions on um, not eating correctly, not hydrating correctly. Um, it was, and it was really hard to ask for help. I did get past it because um, I have a super loving family and I have a super husband and he, helped me get out of bed, take my meds. Um, I know it's, I know it's hard. I think one of the things that's really hard about this thing is, okay, so we know that there's pretty good news. There is probably an end in sight. Um, but I don't know when, uh, people ask me, well, when will this be over? I don't know. I can tell you that it's, a four month plan, which I think takes it past Christmas. Um, and beyond that, I don't know. I don't know what scans are gonna do. I don't know what the prognosis is gonna be. So I'm kind of in this, you know, when I first got this diagnosis, what I was kind of told is that um, if it's in my blood, I'm always gonna be there. And the hope was to get to maintenance chemo. So um, being in this limbo state 
has been kind of hard. And I was reading an article about, actually there were several articles about, you know, we know the positive thoughts and I guess I'm a pretty positive person. You know that positive thoughts help in the healing process. The problem that can happen is when somebody absorbs it so much that they're trying to be brave and and push on through and feeling like if I don't do this, it's my fault that I feel bad. Um, I'm not quite to that place, but it was hard and I hate to have like a downer video, but I also believe in like, I also vowed that I would be very honest about the process. So um, the things that I keep going back to that make me feel better um, is to dress cute. And maybe that's something I ought to do at home, even when I'm working from home. Um, and getting out of the house is a big one. Friends, seeing friends if I can. Um, and so I'm, I don't know if I'm being brave so much as I don't really have a choice. Um, yeah, I don't, I think, I think that's, and that's been in a lot of things in my life. It's like, uh, yeah, I don't have a choice, but to keep going. It's the way it is. And you just, you just do what you can do. So, um, I think that, right, I'm going to continue to have the focus to be, um, not so much, you know, not so much me being brave as that I'm handling my cancer with cuteness and maybe I need to always push toward that to go and be cute, um, to be Instagrammy, <laughs> which feels super self-centered, but I know that it makes me feel better. And I also know that it makes me feel better to snuggle my family and, um, and it's okay. And I had a wild idea. I texted my husband. I said, I think would be, we be a weird couple if, Okay, so we go to an Episcopal church, and part of the Episcopal church is we follow liturgical colors for the seasons um, of the church that, that it goes through. And my husband wears bow ties that match the color of the season. Uh, so right now we're in or what's called ordinary time, and so he wears green, uh, green bow ties, unless he's doing something like if he's playing music for Children's Chapel, he has one with guitars, and it's very cute. And so I texted him and said, would we be the weird couple if um, I started doing that with headscarves to match the liturgical, <laughs> the liturgical colors? And I think he said, we don't know how long this thing is going to go on. I'm like, you know, I can at least do green for ordinary time. Uh, blue for Advent, I've got a rose for Rose Sunday, and uh, white for Christmas. So um, I've tossed a few things on my wish list. It's no obligation. It, it, you may just want to look and see that it's funny. Um, but I think the most part is thank you guys for your gifts, for your videos, for your words of encouragement for being there, letting me grouse. Um, I'm just really grateful. I'm grateful for my family that I married, that I was born into, and that I chose. So thank you, family. I love you. I will talk at you later. Bye.